One of the things that I talk about in the Fiber Fields Cookbook is I walk people through a strategy. I actually have an acronym that teaches people the strategy of how to heal their gut. G-R-O-W-T-H, growth. Now, anyone who really knows me knows in my community, this is a very important word for us. But in this case, this is my strategy to heal. And the first letter G stands for Genesis. What is the root of your problem? We can't properly treat you until we know what we're even treating. Now, we can talk about the other letters later. They have to do in part with how to understand food and overcome food intolerances. Um, we can talk about those letters if you guys want to later, but it all starts with understanding the root of the problem. And that means that we need to properly diagnose this. Because if you're just, if it's just, look, there's only one form of constipation, so here's the pill. Well, then you're never going to understand that there's this other thing that exists, right. pelvic dysinertia. Yeah. How do we diagnose it? Many times I can almost tell in the clinic talking to the patient because they say, look, my poop is soft, but I still am straining like crazy to have the smallest little thing. All right, that is probably someone with pelvic dysinertia, but there are some people who are a surprise. You can't just predict it based upon what they say. So we have a test. It's called anorectal manometry. And <laughs> that um, sounds fun. Basically, yeah. <laughs> well, Let's I mean, do look, that. <laughs> I, at the end of the day, if, if on the other side of this, you actually feel well, yeah, it's still worth it, right? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this test would allow you to make the diagnosis. Now, to, to answer the question, like, what do we do? Okay, we can start with the basics. You can start with these basics literally right now. You don't have to do this test if you don't want to. You can start by elevating your feet. They have these things called a squatty potty, but you don't need to buy the squatty potty. Just like literally take a box or a stool, put it under your feet, and make it so that your knees are actually above your hips. This is a proper pooping position. When you go to poop, lean forward and put your elbows on your knees. I would actually recreate this in front of you guys, but it would be, <laughs> we'll just leave that alone for another time. But you lean forward and you put your elbows on your knees. All right. So your knees are above your hips. You lean forward. It's kind of like the thinking man. I think you should have and that as your photos on your, on your books, that position, you in that position in all your books. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> ready. Author, Wilbur, Dr. Will Smith. <laughs> the Their man. third book is get ready to poop. And you're like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sensing a bestseller already. So. <laughs> totally. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's something that could be done, right? Is to actually get our pelvic floor into proper alignment because when we're sitting upright on a potty, we're not actually in proper alignment. That's not the way that we were designed to poop. Mm -hmm. So, but if a person wants to fix this issue, pelvic dysinertia, once you make the diagnosis, the value of the test is let's be, let's have clarity. Let's not, mm -hmm. let's not speculate. Let's actually have clarity. And once you have clarity, then you can charge in that direction because you know, you're doing what's right. And so then what you do is you get um, the person set up with what's called a pelvic therapist. Effect, effectively, they are a physical therapist that specializes in pelvic floor problems. They're almost all, I've never actually met a male pelvic therapist in my entire career. I, I, as far as I know, they're always women because I think this is who would be attracted to trying to help because mostly they're dealing with women. And it's not only constipation, it's also incontinence, incontinence of bowel, incontinence of bladder, could be pain during intercourse. There's a number of different issues. There are occasionally men who do need to go to the pelvic therapist, but most of the time it's women. And so anyway, they can help with these types of things.